Today we're talking about merch. So I have uh, not just Hawks merch, just you know my normal logo for sale. You know what I'm saying? We got the link in the description. Uh, we got mugs, we got shirts, I got hoodies and sweaters. Uh, you know, you're gonna see me wearing these at all, wearing these from continuing on. May not be in these certain episodes coming up, earlier ones, but as they go on and as I do my, my mid week ranks, you will see them. And so if you would like to, to purchase them, please it's a description the link will be in the description and please support as much as you can thank you very much <clears throat> hello everybody i am drill naji hampton this is naji talks and this is my midweek rant for the week hey so today i'm going to be talking about uh you know family versus dreams you know so this is pretty much a lot of like like I did a discussion with somebody, um, and it's gonna come up, you know, soon. So I'm not gonna like give any like full detail of the name or anything like that. But you know, we were talking about basically like passion. Well, I mean, it was kind of similar almost. It was like kind of talking about like passion versus money thing type of situation almost with money, with jobs and stuff. So that's like kind of like a. It's not exactly that, but it's kind of like you know that of reverse situation with situations and stuff like that with people and stuff and me and things I've been thinking about, you know. So it's like kind of like. Alright, so just like, you know, pretty much just thinking about it like, because when I say family, I don't mean like, you know, your blood family, like immediate family, like, you know, people you've been raised with and grow up with, and, and you know, nothing like that. I mean like, having like, husband or wife and having children type of family. That's what I'm talking about. Because that's the thing that's going to be more so basically a lot on you as a responsibility. Because the thing is, it's like, when you think about like, your, like the family you grew up with and stuff, like, as you get older... Like you don't have to pretty, you don't have to be with them as much anymore. Cause the thing is, like once you become more independent, you still doing your own shit and getting off on your own and stuff. And they don't really worry, especially if you do good. Like they won't worry about you as much, or whatever. But but the thing is, it's like, but then you can also like not have to be like as responsible for them as you were when you was when y'all were growing up before. Like so, it's like less responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So you can rely, so you can do more on your own. You know, cause I and it, you know it, it helps. You know, having a chance to to do stuff. Cause I was like that, like uh, in the fall. Like, I was dealing with, like, a lot of, like, school stuff. Like, they had me, like, on some, like, taking some classes over and stuff and doing a lot of clinical, like, training and stuff like that. And uh, and the thing is, like, my brother Dom was actually, like, taking care of my mom at the time. So, it was, like, nice because I was, like, like, my mom had got, like, sick and shit in the summer, last summer. It was, um, and things are going down or whatever. I was, like, you know, I was the one that was, like, around and stuff and always over there and, like, taking her to appointments and stuff like that. And, and uh... And so I had to rely on that, and I was, I've always been like having to like knock down a lot of me a lot, you know. So I had to, both of them were about at the time in the summer, but when the fall came and he was like taking care, of her, I didn't care. like I was like, well, cool, like now I can just like you know, because I know that Dom's like taking care of her, so it's like, like you know, like now, like now I don't have to worry about him, you know, on, you know, being under me, you know, he's there with her, and then I don't have to worry about her worrying about, like asking me for stuff, like. You know, like, just, like, because I knew that they were there for each other. He was helping her out, so they, they did that. So, it's, like, good. So, it made it a lot easier for me to, like, take care of my business when I needed to at that time. So, because I, I really, I really had to focus at the time. It, and it just helped not work out that way. But, like, that, basically. So, it's, like, kind of, like, thinking about it. But that's more of the immediate thing, you know? But, I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, so, we're talking about basically, like, creating, like, people, like, with, you know, with children. <laughs> so, you're creating a person... That's going to be your responsibility all your life unless you choose to, like, get rid of them. You know, send them off, whatever. Um, but that's your responsibility, right? You take responsibility for that person. You're the parent. Uh, and so the thing is, it's like, you got to, like, always think about that shit. Like, once it happens, it's like you always have to think about it. And then if you have, like, an actual, like, and if you're with the parent, the other parent, or if you're just with somebody else at the time. You know, you have, like, you have to always, like, think about the other person to the significant other. So you have to think about that other person on top of the child. You know, it's a lot you got to deal with on top. And that's just, like, side stuff <laughs> compared to, like, just, like, doing regular stuff with your life. <laughs> and so, like, that is, like, so we're talking about burdening people or and we're talking about burdening ideas, you know what I'm saying, for businesses or just, like, driving 
your passion and stuff like that going going for your 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 goals in life and everything like that like you know you know people that that choose to like do one thing or do other you know but and it's rare that you have both at the same time because there are i'll do you know i'll basically like, kind of talk about these now but like there are people that actually like do them do like but it's, it's a timing thing you know okay so i'm just gonna go a bit you know i'm gonna go off of like you know an example i i, I saw i witnessed it to Gigi. so you know um so my major is professor one woman professor from alabama I think she's from Alabama, yeah, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, though, yes, she went to this gig, too, she was a alum. Uh, she was teaching us, um, and she was telling us, like, basically, like, how she wanted to, like, get her master's and shit, and, like, you know, go for more of education after her bachelor's uh, in our major. I think that's what she got in, or something like that, whatever. But she wanted to go higher up, you know? And so, yeah, I think so, yeah, that makes sense. But, yeah, she wanted to go higher up. And the thing is, like, she chose to get married and have children instead of going to school, continuing schooling. And like so, like but and like so now she has like I think like two or three children now, yeah. Um, and one of the children actually like she had one of her daughters actually went to Tuskegee at the same time I did. So we we came in at the same time, uh, and she was an occupational therapy major, um, volleyball player too. But I think no baseball. She was a soft, um, softball player, yeah. So she was a softball player. But yeah, but anyways, but she was just like, and then like the professor. Like now she's just like thinking about like man like now she's just like she, she's like trying to go back she's taking like night classes or weekend or like online classes something like that and the thing is it's like kind of like hard she was like oh like middle age and shit now like hello children husband already like got a lot of responsibilities like what work she's doing now and other stuff and you know like, <laughs> excuse me you already have like your lifestyle like set with things you're doing at the time like you're already putting in so much time into like supporting the, your whole family, everything you do with your family, and your job, and then whatever other side things you do in life. You have all that, you know. And so then now that you're basically like, oh, okay, now I'm gonna add this on and try to do higher up stuff. But after so long and not being in school, like I know it's gonna be hard as fuck, and she's gonna take forever or not even fucking finish because it's gonna happen. And it makes sense. Like I get it, it makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, so. But that shit is really something, like, thinking about it. Because she regrets that shit, like, a motherfucker, bro. Like, every day that she didn't choose school. Like, and, like, then she had to just get stuck fucking teaching. I mean, she could do a lot, a lot more, you know, like. That shit sucks. I'm like, that, that's horrible. <laughs> just being like, but I mean, it's, but I mean, she's from the South. So, of course, you know, you're already going to be raised that way to be like, okay, I want to have. And then, you know, the generation, I mean, you know, my parents' generation, so. But I mean, but you know, still the South treating thing, you know, teachings and stuff like that. Because I mean, I've like, it's just like how their thinking is different. Like, there's this girl I've been talking to, you know, I've been basically like trying to be like an older brother, mentor to her or whatever about how, about trying to, you know, because she wants to like start on like, like talk show. So I've been like putting her on, putting her on game on everything I've been doing. But she's from Georgia. Uh, and we were like kind of like talking about the whole like difference of, of like, like city people and like southern people because i mean i grew up under southern hospitality but i also grew up in compton <laughs> so you know it's like a mix of the two yeah uh, and then when i got to the south i was able to like when i was in the south for six years like i did you know i got a good glimpse of the shit there and how it was and people i mean even though we had a lot of different, from different places like i mean i was you know i was like i had but the thing is like the south is like southern states were a lot, it was a lot of different southern states there so you get to see like all the different ways of how they, they they act and treat and talk about things and and treat women and stuff and you know I was able, I got like some really good examples like good good like like good leaders to like follow under when it came to like a relationship so it was good I had those to look up to because I had a great relationship after that from what I when I watched what I observed and learned you know um, but yeah so that's but the thing is it's like a difference because like when you're younger i mean all right so the difference is like i was like kind of like talking to her about it because it's like she was like saying how like a lot of guys just like want to cover and will tell my wife and her up and stuff and i'm just like that's just kind of how they're taught though you know they're taught to be like like that you know like they're taught to be like very like nice and shit and have manners like i have manners shit too but it's like kind of hard to have manners out here because <laughs> it's like if i was back out there it would have been a lot easier to do you know, because people were used to that, to the manager shit, like respect and shit like that. But you come back out here, and, <laughs> and even if women aren't from here, but if they've been out here enough, long enough, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's like, so yeah, a lot of it is like, 
you know, weird to them. The last girl I did it, she was like on some like, she was like weirded out because I didn't judge her. But that's just how I am. <laughs> and uh, so she thought it was really weird. <laughs> and then like it was a time when they brought my mom past. She ghosted me and shit. And I'm just like on some like, like what's going on? Like this shit just happened to me. I kind of want to talk. She's just like, see. And then so eventually I hounded her about it. And she finally told me it, and it had nothing to do with me. But she was saying that because of how I acted around, because I was just saying that I wanted her to communicate with me about her wanting to like do, I guess like find herself and stuff. You know, women do that shit with me a lot though. They always say they want to find themselves. They, they, I get the focus thing like, like they want to, I mean, I find themselves, I get to find themselves. I've had to find this thing. I had to, they have things they want to like focus on with themselves and get themselves together with certain things they learned about themselves. They didn't like, so I get that a lot. Uh, and I get like a lot of like, oh, I don't have time. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, her was kind of like, I found something out about myself that I didn't like, so I can't be in a relationship right now, basically. So it's like, I mean, we, we weren't in one, but it was just like, kind of like, basically saying she can't, we can't progress because of, uh, so I'm like, okay. But I was like pissed because I was just like, you could at least just told me and then we could have been cool about it. You know, we could have had a conversation, like talk about it, you know, but, but her ghosting me made it rude, you know? And then the thing is, it's like, I'm over here pissed because it's like, you just not going to say anything to me, and, uh, and and I'm over here dealing with my fucking mom dying and shit, and, and you just going to be rude as fuck about the shit, and then like, now we just recently talked about it, she was just saying because I judged her that one time, that was it. But all the other times, I didn't say or do anything, or say anything about anything that you've done or anything like that, or said and shit. It's like, okay, there is no pro and con shit, it's just like, if I judge you one time, when I'm already dealing with some shit on my own... Of course I'm going to judge you because you're being fucking rude. Like, you're not even going to be thinking about my feelings about shit. Like, that, how is that not, how can I, how can I not judge you for that, you know? So anyways. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's a difference of the two types. Like, city people are kind of like a rude, and, but honest though. You know, a lot of honesty around here. Like, you know, if I ain't feeling you, I'll tell you, afraid, or if I'm like, okay, like, you know, I ain't on no, like, easy, like, oh, I'm going to, you know, wifey shit or like, you know, I'm, wi- I'm trying to wife you and cuff you shit. Like, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, okay, well, shit. I mean, let's just see where this goes first. And then we can just go from there. Baby steps, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, it's like everything is a baby step. Like, we're going to, like, talk first. Because then you're going to be talking to other people. <laughs> you know, got to wean them all out. <laughs> you know, and then eventually at some point, if you are the one that I, I, that I see myself, like, you know, more, like, you have potential to do, be, you know, be something, you know, that I focus on you more. And when you know, start start cutting them off, cutting them off, cutting them off, whatever, and eventually it's gonna get to the point where we're gonna like just be like pretty much associate with dating or you know, it becomes a relationship, you know. But it's like, but it takes time. Like I have to be honest. Like I can't just be like on some like, oh yeah, like I see you being my girl. Like I'm like nah, I'm gonna like I don't even know you. <laughs> like like I like the, like we gotta get to know each other first, you know. Like let's hang out. Like let's let's see how we how we can like vibe. Like I get the whole thing with like. Like, I don't like long distance relationships because I'm very direct. I like to kind of, I like to see and talk. Like I like to fill it out. Like I can't do that. I can't. It's hard to like just like not fill it out with a situation with a person. I have to like be like we have to be here and like be in the space and see how it is. Like and fill each other out in our energies and stuff and see if we like if it's chemistry. Because chemistry isn't gonna come from only texting, only videos. Like you know, like it doesn't work that way. You know what I'm saying? Chemistry is a natural thing. Oxytocin is a natural thing. That's attraction. Hormone attraction. <laughs> so if you're attracted, oxytocin is going to be way up. But yeah, so you can't really do that if you're not there with the person, you know? So, uh, yeah, so anyway, so. But yeah, that's a huge thing, though. Like, we just, like, you know, so those things are, just, uh, like, different. So different. Just don't like different lifestyles and people, how they're treated and think and stuff, you know? Uh, but yeah, so anyways, the, um, so, and then, so the next one is going to be, so we were, so my friend, my ex, uh, roommate Vermin, uh, his, so like his uncle's friend went to, he was like a Tuskegee alum, old, you know, older, older guy, whatever, um, and he was like, you know, like middle age higher, uh, and so, you know, we had his large place, it was like really nice and shit, really rich dude, uh, and uh, apparently I guess he had a like, one daughter, um, but no wife. And like, but like, but like, that was his life. Like, you think about like, 
So he chose to be like, okay, I'm going to do this and not, not that. Like, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm going to have, if I have the one child, it's always going to be accident, accidental. Usually, a lot of times, it's always accidental. And they always end up having, they always, always get married and then they end up like, getting a divorce. But they have, the, you know, the child's still there, of course. But but it's like, but they're still focused on the, what they're doing. So the thing is, it's like, he still has money because he's not, for the cell, down, you know? I has a child, but the thing is, like, so now he has a child, so he can just be like, okay, at least I have my legacy, you know? <laughs> She's like, all right, well, he's saying all right about that no more. I said, she's there. Gen X is already passed on. <laughs> and I just keep pushing my other shit, you know? Keep making the money. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the difference for sure. Uh, and then uh, and then Vermin's uncle, well, it wasn't like a bad uncle. His auntie married him. But he was a rich man, too. This guy was somehow, because it was his friend. Uh, but, yeah, the uncle didn't go to Skiggy, but he worked for, like, Capital One. And he's, like, so high up. He's like considered like honorable now, so it's like really really cool. But he's like the uh, but yeah middle aged rich guy. But he got married to my to the him to Vermin's auntie like and while he was already in middle age. Like after he already had his money and his title, then he was like damn like you know it happens like it needs to be like damn I got the money and shit like but now I, I want somebody. So when you're here, it was lucky he got him a really good one, you know really 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 good catch. Uh, but the difference of those two, because it's like his auntie and then his mom, because they were like on your sisters, two sisters, and you can like tell the difference of like how they are. But like the thing is, like his Berman's mom has like three children. Yeah, I think three children. Yeah, with the with the Berman's dad. So it's like, and because I think they have an older brother, but I don't know if that's her son or not. But anyway, but uh, from what I can tell, three children, right? You know, Berman, then he has like a brother, a sister, and then a brother in that order. Um, so yeah, so three children, right? And then the dad's there. Uh, he's a great dude, but the thing is, it's like a difference of being like, because you think about it, like, it's like a trade, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you're either going to be, like, you're either going to be rich, and basically, like, not, like, basically, like, not have, like, love and shit in your life as much, especially for a long time, uh, but, uh, or you're going to, or you're going to be, like, you're either going to be poor, or basically just, like, mediocre with money, like, medium, basic, like, average with it, whatever, um, and then you'll have love in the house because the thing is, is like you're not really focused on that you're focused on the family and you can put a lot of work into the family because a lot of times you know people with money like, you have less time to focus on family when they're basically when they're, especially when, when they're trying to build the shit up like build the money up and stuff they're usually pretty busy don't have much it's gonna be time to be out there to be helping out and be in there for the family you know so those that don't have as much uh, but the thing is usually like when you get older they usually have like a lot more time because they can like you know, they have time to spare. They usually, like, have, like, things and people to pass it on to to do the work, you know? So it's usually that easy when they order to, to do things like that. But, yeah, when you're younger and you're just trying to build that shit up, especially if it's, like, if it's just new money, you feel me? It's, like, it's going to take time. Like, God put a lot of, like, dedication and time into the money. So it's, like, like I said, it's not as much into the family. Like, you know, people with less money. Because the thing is with less money, they're going to stress about the money. But, but the thing is they're not going to be... They're gonna feel fulfillment because they already because they feel the love, you know. Because the thing is, like his dad, Vermin's dad has the, his my wife and children, and you know. So the thing is, like they both have jobs, and but the thing is, like all those children have been doing great. You know, Vermin went to ski with me, of course, and then like uh, the sister went to Howard, uh, and then the youngest brother, I think he went to North Carolina A and T. So all three went to HBCUs. Uh, uh, Vermin is the one that didn't graduate, but the other two did. Like, they're all doing great, doing great, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, you know what I'm saying? They're doing great, you know what I'm saying? So it's one or the other, like, family. You're going to put the work on the family, you're going to put the work into, like, your passions and stuff. So I was, like, comparing that a lot when I would be around them, like, because, like, I was around them basically every break I didn't have. I couldn't come home, so it's, like, winter. So whenever, if it wasn't winter or or uh, summer, I was always out there, like, with his family, like, in Georgia or if we were, like, out visiting his other, like, some other family member, like, his grandma and, and like, uh, one of the, Car- in North Carolina one time, and then I think South Carolina another time, you know what I'm saying, and then I, we had went to, like, his uncle's house, the uncle and auntie house one time, before, and that was in uh, North Carolina, I think, one time, uh, so it's like, you know, we traveled a lot, with, you know, I visited his family, you know, they took me in, it was really, really beautiful, I love them, you know, um, but yeah, that's how I see it, right, uh, then next is my uh, best friend, Ariel, uh, so the thing is, like, so Ariel, you know, Ariel has three children now, uh, and they're all from the same guy, which is great. Uh, so at first, she had, like, went to undergrad. She was in Pomona, Casa 
car party come on up. Um, and then like she, I got pregnant uh, during that time with him because uh, it was like uh, for high school school. Like, but they were dating like off and on since like fucking ninth grade. Uh, but yeah, so basically, yeah, the first shower was with him, uh, and then she was there. And then when she graduated, she had went to Texas for a uh, vet school. So then she's been there this whole time, and then uh, they've been like, you know, and he had one with her, so they've been there together. And then they've been having like, then they had more like two more children, even with the third one. She almost died afterwards. It's fucking scary shit. And I, I didn't even fucking know. Cause the thing is, like, after her second one, she had told me like, oh, like I can't have any more. Cause you know, I might, you know, I might die. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right, you're good. You have two, boy and a girl. You should be happy. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, you're good, right? And then next thing you know, she had a third one, uh, another boy. But I didn't know, cause I'm on like Instagram. I'm just thinking like, I see photos of the children, right? But I think I'm over there and they're like her friend's like son or something. That was with her children, you know? Cause I didn't know. <laughs> and so I'm just sitting there like, yo, like, no, nah, I don't care. Like, I'm just talking. Well, you know, they're probably like really good friends. You know what I'm saying? Either the children are friends or like her and her and the parents are friends, or whatever. So they're always gonna be around each other a lot. So they just gonna grow up together. That's how I saw it, you know? And then I'm just like then I eventually like talked to her and she was about it and she was like, No, it's my third job. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you had a whole other one? <laughs> I was like, Come on, like she was like, Yeah, I really did almost die though. I was like, Damn, like, come on, best friend, like and then like the thing is like she was like in school, like and having children and <laughs> working and, and and like then like with like the whole thing with this shit was like really throwing her off from like school and work and she had to take off a lot because she was almost dead <laughs> she was doing a lot with that recovering and stuff and, and like so like now it's like pretty much a lot of this shit her graduation is like just like the schooling thing is pushing her back because her decision to make have another child and risk it and deal with the consequences of it i mean it's a blessing that he came out healthy you know of course and that she's still, you know she's still alive and still put you know pushing forward and doing her thing whatever and you know so i'm glad that she had got her third one oh now she's done <laughs> i hope so god damn it arrow <laughs> i'm glad because they finally got fucking married <laughs> you know, they came back in christmas and it was like they had their rings and we was just like all like damn like so forever <laughs> but the thing is i'm happy i mean what well, the thing is it's just like you know because it's like she also can like so I'm really just that kind of talking about how the fact that she's been like, you know, kind of like pushing back the, the deadline for her graduation because of the family situation that she's had. You know, I'm not, it's not the knocking it because she's going to finish. I know she will, but I'm just saying that it's because of that. It's pushing it back a lot more because of everything that's going on. Her choosing children. Um, and then, um, so the next person let me talk about is my, is my great aunt, Auntie Sandy. She's like, so the, so it's like, so when me, uh, Dom and Dave, my brother, my two brothers, when we, when we here got separated when we were young, uh, they were like trying to, I guess, like separated by like an age thing, like a kind of, like kind of like the same thing, whatever, because it's like, so our grandmother, on our dad's side, was the oldest, our great aunt, aunt uh, my mom that just passed, she was the middle, and then uh, and Auntie Tizan was the youngest, so they were all sisters, and I think they were like trying to like pass it off like that. Cause it was like Dave was with my grandparents. Dom would have been with my mom. I mean, he did go with her, and I was supposed to be with my auntie Jan, I think. But I think what happened was because my auntie Jan already had a child, and then she ended up not having children after that, and wasn't married. She was like, I don't want to have to do with that, like do that no more. Because my auntie, my cousin, Shanela was already a lot older than me, so it wasn't like it was like a like a it wasn't like a little gap, you know, to where it was like it was like kind of like it would have worked out, you know. Like I was like, and I was like really really young. I was like 18 months and shit. So imagine if she already had like a teen or a, a teen by that time, <laughs> and then then she has to get another baby. Like fuck no, I get it. <laughs> but then so I went with my mom. So me and Dom was like with our mom and shit. But I, I did. But um yeah. Ah so anyways, but yeah, my auntie Sandy like she's like the open of our family. So she's just like so after she I got I had her one child, not wasn't married, hasn't been married again since. I mean she was dating somebody for a minute, but. But yeah, there's a lot of shit going on, complications and stuff with that. But anyways, the uh, yeah, but but she hasn't been married since. Only had one child, and then like so, and she had like a son, uh, Bryce. So that's her grandson. So you know, she's like, and then like you know, and then she like you know doing her thing, being like top notch nurse, nurse top as fuck, like high, 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 high top notch nurse, doing her thing with that, whatever, uh, which is great. Uh, but then, like, you know, and so Auntie Sandy's just been, like, the big business person, whatever, the family, putting in all that work in. 
you know, you know, of course she had to learn to walk from her. She's in Versailles and doing her thing, whatever. But the thing is, it's like I'm just saying, like the thing is, like so she understood. So the thing is, it's like a difference of being like, okay, I'm gonna, I have these like child, so I'm already gonna be like genetically passing it on, teaching her stuff, whatever, and she'll teach her son. So it's like there. So I don't have to worry about, and like now I don't really care about the fucking like having a significant other because. I can just worry about my baby being all my fucking work, all my businesses and, you know, all the stuff I'm doing and my passions and stuff. So it's like pretty much just like the comparison of the time you're putting in. So you can see like the her putting in work, time with like the businesses and her hat and her passions and dreams have been like very flourishing, you know? And the thing is like her already having a daughter, it makes it easier, it just makes it kind of like, okay, well now I already have someone to like pass it on to. So it works though with that, you know? And like, but like I was like saying, like, cause it's like afterwards, not like during all of it. It was like kind of like after the fact of the child and everything. And the fact that I have a significant other, that makes a difference too. Uh, but yeah, so that's how you can see it in that way. Uh, and my my grandmother on my mom's on my dad's side, uh, Nana. So she ended up having like 10 children uh, and she was like, ha-, you know, of course multiple husbands and stuff, but like recently my papa is the most recent one, husband, she, the most, the husband she has now, she's had him for like a long, long time, like, uh, and so like they've been married for a long time, he's been really great to her, um, and yeah, so, but the thing is like she's been, but she hasn't, but she wasn't, she didn't have money, she was lucky that she had a great husband and she was lucky that uh, Cause Monty Zhang basically helped them out with that house they're staying in uh, in Carson now that we're living in me and I'm living in now. You know what I'm saying? So things like a lot of that is pretty much beneficial when you think about it that way. Like, cause it's like, luckily you had somebody that was just, like helping you with these like little things here and there, and and you also have a significant other that's helping you, and then like with other things you have your children because you have like so many children, like they can all like you know, not everybody might help out or whatever, but you have those that will for certain things, you know. And so, like, her too. But the thing is, like, that generation and, and coming from, like, the rural, like, Tennessee area, it's like, you're going to be already want to do these things, you know, with that. Like, with the um, having a family and children and stuff, like, that's a normal thing. And it's not like, you're, like, as common of having a, being, like, a person, like, with a, like, a woman with, a, like, a lifestyle. Like, and so they think it's, like, well, my son, she was, like, a lot younger. And so, like, she had to, like, a lot of shit out here. She was, like, the Bio Panthers out here. I think she, oh yeah, she owned a club. I think she was telling me that she owned a club with her too. And she party with like, she party with my like fucking parents. <laughs> like my dad and my mom. Like, like they had stories. Like, and then like, uh, my cousin Mookie, his aunties and his mom, like, and his dad. Like, like they all parties together. Like, that's how young my auntie son was like, compared to the rest of them. <laughs> so yeah, but she has, so that was the difference of sure. So, and it made it easier for her to do things out here because we're in, you're in an area that's not as, it's not fucking the south, of course. This is, you know, this is the West Coast, California, where things aren't as, you know, kind of, I don't know, it's like, it's just like, it's pretty open, like a lot of things. It gives you opportunities to do things out here, which is great. Um, and yeah, but yeah, but my grandparents, whatever. So my grandma was like that, whatever. And so she, like I said, she was like, you know, supports and stuff like that to help you out. Um... And my mom, she was, uh, my mom had, she had, like, really, like, bad fucking, she was, like, dumb, basically, the black sheep. They shit, like, a bad issue. Of course, you're gonna, like, envy the oldest one. That's how dumb is with Dave, of course. Uh, you're gonna envy the oldest one. And then, like, he, like, had a husband. And then, like, they got divorced. And I think I have, like, heard that, like, he was, like, stealing money from her. Or, uh, uh, and then she was gonna have a child, but then she had um, she had lost a child. Uh, man, like, what's it called? Miscarriage? Yeah, she had a miscarriage. So of course, like, so she had like a lot of shit. Like she was like going through a lot. Like she was like an alcoholic, you know, everything. Like a lot of bullshit. Like she was going through a lot, doing a lot of shit, man. Like, and then, but then luckily when she got us, uh, she literally stopped drinking that day. So we would want us that sobered her up the whole time, and and luckily she was not a drinker the whole time we were around her growing up. So it's like so it's like that thing wasn't even a big thing for me. Like I didn't really like see it in my house like that. So it wasn't like an influence for me to, to drink. 
but uh yeah so that's good so that was a great thing for sure but so luckily she had us and like she's been like it was like because a lot of people like a lot of my family members of course like you know because like my great she's a great aunt so she was an aunt to my 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 parents and my mom my dad and my uncles and aunties and stuff so so they were like they knew her as like the mean auntie and then when she had us embraced us she got really soft <laughs> they was like talking about like man what happened to the Auntie, I knew she was like a mean. <laughs> I mean, she was like kind of like she had me, she was like you know, still mean with us, whatever to a certain extent. Uh, but then as you know, she got as things got as she, you know, we got a little older and stuff, and you know, it's like there were little things here and there that helped out a lot, and you know, just me being more. I was like surprised because like she was really open to a lot of things like a lot of differences like changes like things that I changed in my life she was like really open to those things and like I didn't like force things on it I was just talk and she would like you know try them out and stuff so that was a good thing too and she liked them and stuff whatever so it helped out for sure and like you know just like little things I think it was like a lot of it was a big thing was like because I was able to like remember a lot of the like stuff that happened in my life and I was able to like talk to her about it and I think that helped. Because it wasn't like... Like, I never wanted to blame her. And I guess she was always trying to say... Think that I was trying to blame her for stuff. Like, with things that was happening with me. Like, when I was... Especially when I learned about... Like, how Dom felt about me... Being treated better than him, of course. I didn't even know it. Until Dom told me. So then I gave it... She had, like, a little guilt... On my shoulder about it. But, uh... And so I was, like... Kind of, like, talking to mom about it when I found... Once I realized it, you know? Uh, but then eventually I kind of, like... Just realized I can't fucking do shit for like I tried to do some shit like money shit and it did not work out but and then eventually I realized that I can't help the nigga like as like I wanted to like I don't owe the nigga shit bro like this shit has nothing to do with me it's just you between y'all two it has nothing to do with me so once I realized that it made my life so much easier to like just like back up and be like yeah like you gotta do your own shit bro like I'm not gonna be over here like honey honey you shit all the fucking time like you know, throw things here and there, and like now that we're, you know, with our grandparents, and you know, probably been like really, like, you know, really like talking to them, helping them a lot, and the fact that we have, I have the opportunity, to, like, let me use the car to work, you know, so we can both like do deliveries on certain, like, you know, we can split the car up on days and stuff, and so we can still both make money, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like it's on me to help him with shit like that, because we both, because niggas, because niggas both ain't got jobs, like, I mean, now I have my melon job, of course, but unemployment and everything like that, but before, it was rough, we both were broke, <laughs> both were broke with no jobs and shit, and, and the thing is, it's like, that nigga was still being selfish, I was the nigga that was like, and we, I was like, just helping the nigga then, the whole before, the shit, before we even got kicked out of the place, and it was not even his place, it was mine, he was just there, <laughs> So I got kids out of my place, right? And he got lucky because my grandpa let him come in with the cheaper price, rent and stuff, whatever. Because he wasn't even going to ask. I had to ask. And he luckily, Papa was like, I'm going to give it to you. Like, but because he has his responsibility and Papa stays on to ask about stuff, it helps. And he always has, like, do, we both do different type of chores in the house and stuff, or outside the house and stuff, so that's good too. Uh, and like I said, with the money thing, you know. And the thing is, like, like I said before, because we both didn't have jobs. So we both, like, relying on the car, using the car a lot, driving it around, delivering and stuff. Uh, and eventually, we had got, like, a system, you know, where it's, like, different days, and we work on different days. So it's, like, pretty much worked out a lot simpler, because it's, like, once we had got the system, then it's, like, instead of us being together all the time, we, we were, you know, we were away from each other, on, you know, every other day or whatever. So it made it a lot easier for us to, like, you know, branch out on our own, do our own little things or whatever. So now I don't even worry, break. Especially like now that I've got this mailing job, especially the mailing job, but that point was huge. Like I didn't barely worked, <laughs> barely did delivering. Uh, and then when I get this this mailing job, it's like pretty much mailing, <laughs> not mailing, mailing job. It was like that also. Like okay, like you know, it's pretty much like that. Like okay, like it's simple shit. Like not like simple shit. I'm just saying like, like this job is like it's very. I like it though because it's like it basically like has me be to where I'm kind of like have to be responsible for things because they'll call me about urgent packages. Or they'll call me about labels that I sent to me just for me to send them out. Like they'll be on me about certain things, you know. But then they'll always like email or text me something like that, like you know things that are going on, like new like new packages on my dashboard or you know new or so or I should be expecting a package in. So it's like I'm expecting it, so I know it's gonna come. You know, so I say all these things, whatever that are happening. And it's like, and, but it's like because because it's not like just as like chill as the doing job is. And they kind of have to be on they ha they're on me at certain times like they'll call me in the morning about certain things it kind of helps because it's like it's like i can still be chill on certain at certain points but then also i need to like you know i need to be on my, you know be on my, my p's and q's about things too 
which is great because the thing is like now I have had this expectation of them being like okay we're going to be on you because at first I was like kind of annoyed about it and like you know because like I wasn't used to it so I was just kind of like annoyed that would, they would be calling all the time and stuff and but then like as I said things are like as I like, keep doing it keep doing it learning and stuff whatever I get to like I understand what's really going on like you know how it works like it's like it's a thing it's a thing and it's like and it's like a system it's like it's urgent like if the box is an urgent thing uh then they'll um if the box is an urgent thing then they'll call me about it like it's like a job a real job where you're where you have responsibilities and the boss is going to be like all right well let's see you know have you been on it or you make sure to do this whatever so it's like that basically so like i said there's nothing wrong with it. i like it you know what i'm saying like keeps like i said it keeps me on my toes so it's not like two lakhs so you know i like it works out well with all that um but yeah and then so then and then like um uh, and, all right, uh, my homegirl, my my uh, Eastern Star sister, thought I went to the ski where she's from Philly. Uh, she had a son. We always all you know in college and uh, uh, young nephew. Um, you know, we all raised the nigga like <laughs> the stars and brass, like <laughs> all stars and squares. All all raised her. But the thing is, like, she had him. I guess like during like a holiday, whatever. One of her like. Exes, I guess, whatever, and and then I like, basically had him, you know, around the time, and she's been what, yeah, raising them to get school and shit, whatever, and stuff, whatever. But and then I like, so now she and when she had graduated, now she's like, you know, Jesus, and like so now she's, but she's always been like a business, but she's always been like, a, like, a de- like doing her shit, like hustling and shit like that, like, and things is like she like found more stuff to do, like, and she found a better route to go around doing things, and that's what she's doing now, and things is, like she's still moving and moving and moving, which is great. I love it, but and the thing is, like, I'm glad because, like, now it's because I think it's because it's a lot easier to do it with having a child that's older. Like I was saying with my auntie, great aunt. Having a child that's older, you have way less responsibility because they can do a lot more for themselves. Um, or if you have the money, you can just pay for a fucking like you know a sitter or whatever. And so, but if you don't have the money and you're broke, then it kind of makes it harder, you know. Uh, but the thing is, like, when you have it, have the money, it makes it a lot easier. I have somebody look out for them, whatever, for you. So the thing is, like, she's been hustling and grinding like crazy. But, it, you know, and like I said, but the thing is, it's like after the fact of having him already and having him grow up and stuff, whatever, and like all whatever it is, less responsibility and things like not having a significant other husband makes it different too. Because the thing is, like I keep saying, it's like those things, like that's a whole different person you have to be responsible for. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to think about that person every fucking day. And the thing is, if like you're thinking about him or her and you're thinking about that child, then you have to be like damn like you know now you worry about them you know all the time but the thing is if it's like just the child and the thing is like i said because you're like you have like more trust when they're older or you have less so you can, like, don't have to worry about them as much once they get older and you can just be like if it's a person that's like that you're paying to sit them or whatever and you trust them then you're like okay i can do my shit do my, do my work you know what i'm saying and not be worried but and so it makes it also easier because it's like i don't have to be like oh i'm gonna be worried about you know, make sure I get home and cook for my husband or make sure I, you know, make sure this is done for the husband or, you know, boyfriend or whatever and my child, you know, but it's like, just like the child, so it's like not as big of a difference, like, and it's not as a big thing, you know, because you can do a lot less with that with him, you don't have to really do as much with that child as much as you would if you have both, or even just having guys, and the other makes a difference too, so you're way less responsible with that, um, and so yeah, she's been grinding and stuff, so I'm proud of her, uh, the next one is, uh, my friend Imogene that graduated King Drew with, uh, like we've been really close because like we like, realized it was like a lot of things that we had in common, a lot of things that we were interested in. That was very, 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 very interesting. Cause she was one that introduced me to Buddhism, Buddhism. So I've been doing like chants since, since ever since she grew up Buddhist. Uh, and, like we do like talk about like a lot of like spiritual stuff and like talk about little things, different stuff here and there. Like teach each other stuff and learn things and listen and stuff, whatever. But Give advice about a lot of stuff too, of course. Um, like I was having, like, she was the one that was helping me out when I was like, you know, going like when I first, when I was really like going through the first step of my vegetarian journey. Cause she was like, I think she was like vegetarian, vegan. Yeah, so she was like, you know, teaching me stuff here and there about a lot of things, which is great. You know, you know, I love to learn, you know. Uh, but yeah, but she, I went to New York, cause she was in Boston for for grad for school. For uh, she, I went to Boston for to all girl black all girl school. Um, and then she. I think it was Boston, yeah. Uh, but yeah, she went to all-girls school and then she ended up going to New York after that. 
And I thought, like, she was going to, like, you know, do big things with that. You feel me? Like, getting out, you know. Uh, and I'm sure she wanted to. Uh, but then she ended up having a significant other, having a son. Okay, and I think she's having another one. I'm not sure she's had it already. I think she was, like, I think last time I talked to her, she was saying she was going to have another one. But, but yeah, but, like, that's, the, like, the thing that's been, like, because after the first one, it seems like all of her... It's just been kind of like a lot of her passion for that. You know, she's a dancer, so it's like a lot of the dancing passion kind of like dry, kind of like dried up a little. And she kind of like started to like barely get back into it. But like that's a big thing because now you're worried about other things. Like I said, the child and the you know, significant other, and like now she's about to have another one. So it's like I mean, I'm glad that the you know the 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 is the same father and you know they're still together. You know, but you know it's still like it, it's just like that's the thing. You know, it's kind of like. <sighs> It's like really like if you think about it like that like uh, uh it's just like that can really throw you off you know like I have no issues if it's like you just dating but it's like once you start having children it's, it's like it changes the fucking game you know and I know and I know she's always gonna be dedicated to the children and her, you know and, and you know her her, her, her new do of course whatever but you know but if it's just like her do her and her do like you know they can do a lot together because it's like uh like my friend Osado uh, she went to Kinju too. Like she's married. Uh, I've been married for a few years. Uh, she went to like San. Uh, I think whatever uh, is it. San, I think it's like you see Santa Barbara. Yeah, and then so but like but like now she's like but they're back out here or whatever and so but the thing is like I I've been wondering why they haven't had children because they've been married and it's like I wonder why like I feel like you probably can't have children now like you guys are, you probably have good jobs and stuff and I'm pretty sure you guys are comfortable like so y'all can do it but I think it might have to do a lot like with. You know, just the fact of having children, like I said before, change the game on, on what you're doing, your responsibilities and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure, like, whatever they're doing with their lives now, it's probably a lot better off, more comfortable for them to do as a couple than it is if they have a child with them, you know? I feel like they're probably going to wait until later on in life to, like, once they, you know, get more, you know, more settled and stuff with their finances or, ba- or like, if they have, like, you know, their drives and, like, passions and dreams that they have had this whole time. Because the thing is just, you know, you can still do a lot more if you have a... If you have a husband or a wife that's like really gonna like have your back and support you in your things and stuff, because I'm pretty sure he has his things he's been wanting, and she has her things too. And the things is like they both like you know, support each other in their things that they want to do in life, their dreams and shit. And if they accomplish those, get really close before they have children, you know, it would make a lot more sense to do that at first, you know. So I get that. I can respect that for sure. Um, and so, like, for me, you know, like, I've, you know, I love, I love children, of course, you know. They can help raise, like, uh, like, two of my little cousins. So, it's like, when I was younger and stuff, and, you know, used to, like, you know, th- you know things like that. And, you know, children are always fun to be around. They're always funny. Um, I mean, there was a time when I wanted children. I mean, it was only because I would have, I right, so when I was dating Elijah, you know, I was, like, first real love. So, of course... You know how it's up was I was like you know I was ready. There was time when she had Mr. Pitt and I was expecting to have a child with her and I wanted it. I was actually happy when she had said she had missed it. Like I was like the first time I ever heard I ever was happy about that. You know, and that means a lot. Like if you're ever happy, like uh, but I didn't like think about it like as in like the future. Like I wasn't. Neither one of us were prepared for that. Like, we weren't living well enough. Like, we weren't even, like, working regular jobs. We were still students. Struggling like a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you think about it, like, because I even was talking about, like, because it was the time when I got, like, a, like, I had, like, a, uh, a scare from, like, ex from high school. And, and then, like, I was telling because I was, like, she had came to visit for, like, homecoming and stuff. And, like, then, like, afterwards she had told me, and I was, like, oh, I told her, like, I would come home and work. I'm thinking about like damn like I said that like would I really come back? I mean but the thing is like I'm still not gonna be like the one to be like I'm not gonna like you know take care of the, of the child you know. Uh, so it's like I wouldn't be that type of person you know what I'm saying. But I think about it like would I really like think about it, like how far how what would I have been if I had went back and did that? Came I mean you know came back and did that you know like 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 that really would have been dumb <laughs> for me to do you know. But it's like I mean like I said responsibilities and stuff gotta be my man you know. But the thing is, like, think about it. How far I came since then without having children. Shit, not having no wife. Shit, I, I was actually, like, telling somebody about it, and I realized I ain't had a girlfriend, like, a real girlfriend, like, real relationship. Pfft, since fucking Elijah, nigga, 2014, nigga. Pfft. 
I everything been even though I've, I it was like always like everything was pretty much all of it was like just like a lot of dating shit. It would be like consistent dating and then it would stop after months. <laughs> like and I think the longest one I had, I had was like I think six months I think and then and then it was a whole religious situation that happened and that's why it stopped. But the thing is like everything's been pretty much the same all fucking like off and on shits like months dates dating and stopping. That's pretty much how it's been, like, for, like, all these fucking years. Like, a lot of fucking dating. Damn, I didn't even think about that shit like that. But that's crazy. Like, I ain't had a relationship in so long. But, like, but now, you know, I got my own shit. Like, right now, I'm, like, you know, you think about, like, a children. Like, people having their children. Like, Tay was, like, the one that put it on me, like, saying, like, her child is her business. And then her children are other ones that she has going on that she's pursuing and stuff and pushing. Uh, and so, like, her business is, like, her first one. First first child that she's been putting a lot of work into, you know. Well, I'm taking my first one with my labor business. But he's, my labor business is still supporting the talk show, of course. So, you know, you know, but the labor business is also, you know, it's just production. So, it's like, if there's anything I do with anything, like, stage, and like, you know, if it wants to place, come back in. Or if we do any, if I'm doing anything like that with that, with act, with anything, you know, like production stuff, like that's still the production page. But also, it's like I said, the show is still production too. So I was like still doing this thing, you know. Uh, and like the talk show has been great, you know, been doing so so amazing since, and it's like my second job. It's pretty much like me in the family. The labor job is down, <laughs> and the talk show is me, like how my mom treats us. <laughs> so it's like that, like <laughs> because this is the one I'm spoiling, you know. But it's like pretty much kind of like how it is with the first child. The first child is always the experiment. The second child is the one that you use all your wisdom with, you know, because you learn so much from the first one. So you like you're a fucking expert at the second with the second one. That's how it is, though, because the first one was just me figuring things out, and learning how to do a lot, uh, and it was more so kind of me trying to figure, find like side money job, side money, you know, job, uh, uh, you know, a gig job like why well, I can make money here and there whatever but this one is like you know kind of like because it still has a lot of aspects that I use in the in the labor business for this but <coughs> but um a lot of different stuff you know but it's still like that you know like this is the passion I, I'm driving for but you know I'm also driving for a lot of other stuff like Cause I'm still trying to fucking, cause now that I've gotten expelled from chiro school, starting a new journey with Ayurveda, holistic medicine, I'm studying classes on, on Saturday, this Saturday. Uh, you know, so it's online stuff and uh, just, you know, I already got my book, a big ass fucking book, Ayurveda philosophy shit, big as fuck. I'm gonna be doing modules, I wonder how long it's gonna take. I, haven't, I can't look at it yet until the 15th to see how, how, the, module, how the modules work, but I, I wonder how fast it's going to be, like how fast I can do it, you know? We'll see. But it looked very interesting. I was looking through the book and it looked very fucking interesting for sure. And I thought it was going to be like me having to learn Sanskrit because that was the first thing I had to do with if I was going to do the one at, at my old school. Uh, and they would tell me like you would have to learn Sanskrit, you know? And I was like, okay. And, but then this one just seems like it's a book that's like... It's the the, the like the Sanskrit's in there, but it's translated. So it's like pretty much like I was looking at some of the stuff. It was like kind of looks like some part of it kind of looks like a kind of like a I guess like a dictionary or like a thesaurus or whatever, like translating thing. It like gives the name and then gives the translation of it and then describes what it is. So it's kind of like you know like a dictionary in a way, which is great. I you know so it makes it a lot easier for me I guess for me to figure out like what I'm looking at and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that, and like I'm trying to get all the way up to a doctorate. That's the plan, man. Five years. That's what I'm aiming for. Give me five years. Twenty. It's it's 2020 now. 2025. I should be done with all of the motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, cause the first one, I should try and get down under six. Like, cause this is six months to a year. So I'm like, okay. I wouldn't say I'll. You know, if I can do six months or under that bitch, right? Knock it out. You know, do the intern stuff and. Yeah, you know, get a job with that one, that certificate, and then after that, do the next one. They said that one's a little longer. Same thing, internship, whatever, job. Better job, of course. Then after that, doctorate. You know, of course, that one's going to be a little longer, of course. It's a doctor. <laughs> but, but yeah, but they, but it seems like it can be, it's, it's assumed to be an overall of five years. 
That's how I can, that's how I, that's how I see it. So give me five years. Doctorate doctor level holistic medicine. I read a doctorate. That's the plan now. I'm aiming for it now. Calling this shit out. Last time I had 39. And the thing is, by 2015, 25, that would be my 10 years from graduating from this key. So, yeah, and that's a 10 year anniversary, 10 year, uh, anniversary gift for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but that's the plan now. So, but that's my passions and stuff. So that's what I'm grinding for, you know. No rushes or anything else that's gonna like bind me from it. I have no issue with you, you know, how, like, you know, like dating the women that's gonna help me, like, you know, pursue my, my goals. And I'm, of course, I'm always gonna like, put, help them with theirs, you know. Of course, that's my plan. That's what I always like to do. But, but it's like, but you know, but it's like, no children, of course. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had any, so I'm actually really happy. Eh? I'm really glad that I haven't. Like, this was so fucking great. We'll be fine. I'll be fine with that. But yeah, but I'm just happy, like you know, because the fact that things are looking great, looking up now, like with this and talk show and the school and everything like that, like that's just it's good, man. It's good, glad, happy right now, man. Yeah, but that's it, man. That's pretty much all I got for this time, man. And just like wanted to let y'all know how I felt about fucking family, <laughs> like children, significant others, husbands and wives, and compared to like having like you know just like that, you know, passion, having having your other children's passions, <laughs> your passion, children, not children passion, but your passions being your your children or your dreams being your children like those comparisons so yeah like so yeah thanks <clears throat> thanks for listening namaste thank you for watching the episode before you go please subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notifications because i know you don't want me to continuously send you dms and text messages every week Instead, you just get notifications every time I upload an episode Sundays, and then when I upload my upload my mid- midweekly rants on Wednesdays. Thank you, and have a good day.